What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video, this is going to be a secret that Sledgehammer Games have not even told you within Call of Duty World War 2. Hopefully you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video, if you'd like to see more videos just like this one then definitely smash the like down below, I'm going to try and actually set up a giveaway for Christmas, so if you guys would like to see a giveaway here on the channel, leave a like and also leave a comment down below, and also make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads, I know I missed a few days but I'm going to make up for it by double uploading for the next few days, so make sure you guys go ahead and check out the channel if you haven't already, and with that said, let's begin. So one thing Sledgehammer Games haven't told you about Call of Duty World War 2 is that you can actually get heroic variants of weapons for completely free. Not only that, but the heroic variants are kind of glitched in a way that it's not supposed to be at the moment. I'll be going into detail a bit later on in this video, but just so we can go ahead and begin with this one, we already know that for getting social rank 20, you're supposedly going to get a verified badge. Now what Sledgehammer Games haven't actually told you is you actually get heroic weapons and epic weapons for for getting rank 20. For example, at rank 5, you get the M1928 Wilco, which is an epic variant of the Thompson, as it's known in this game as the M1928. You do get the epic variant of that, which I'm pretty sure everyone has right now in this game who at least got the game at launch anyway. Now, at rank 10, you do get an epic weapon again, and this is a Lewis Landship. This is a weapon that's kind of good in this game, in my opinion, it's very underrated and actually a really overpowered weapon that not many people actually use due to it being an LMG. Now, at rank 15, I was one of the few people to actually find out that you actually get a Karna 8K Nightmare, which you guys are going to be seeing gameplay on screen right now, of me using this weapon is a monster. It's absolutely insane. You, of course, get the 15% bonus XP for playing with this weapon. Not only that, but heroic weapons make camos look 10 times better. Hopefully, hopefully they do fix um, the chrome camo in this game. Chrome camo right now is nowhere near as good as it should be. Uh, in my opinion, it looks worse than diamond. It actually looks worse than gold. Even copper looks better than chrome camo in this game and I will actually throw a screenshot on screen right now of somebody actually provided a link in the description of one of my previous videos of what chrome camo should actually look like it would be chrome tiger and I will try and actually provide an image on screen right now for you guys to take a look at in my opinion chrome tiger if it was designed exactly like this would look so much better in game and if not even change it around and have it be chrome with maybe some gems inside of it I'm not entirely sure let me know down in the comment section below what you'd like Sledgehammer Games to change about Chrome Camo because in my opinion right now it's definitely not worth grinding considering some heroic weapons already have the base standard Chrome on it which actually looks better than the one you do unlock from getting camos. Now we already know that Paint Shop is coming in the game very very soon probably after Christmas update we will actually see paint jobs within the game. Along with that we're not entirely sure how much of the gun is going to be customizable but it will be something new in the game that we haven't seen yet in Call of Duty World War 2. Of course we had seen it in previous Call of Duty titles, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, so on and so forth, we had seen it in those games and you wasn't actually able to customise the full weapon while using this in Paint Shop. Now hopefully in this game they will allow us to customise most of the weapons. We don't know if it's going to be the same system as camos where your Paint Shop will look bad on regular weapons and extremely worse on her epic weapons but they will look amazing on heroic weapons and if that's the case, what Sleb Chammer's trying to get us to do is buy it supply drops so we can get the heroic weapons to make the camos look better now in my opinion do i agree with this no but i do understand where they're coming from as they're trying to push supply drops in the way they haven't done before and trying to get the most sales out of it as possible now i remember back ages ago when the supply drops actually wasn't in the game and in my opinion they added so much more stuff into the games but of course times have changed now and most of the game doesn't even come with half the content that it's supposed to it's all added in dlc now and supply drops which is very unfortunate i do not agree with this at all if anything we should be getting extra stuff from the supply drops and dlcs and getting still the full package of the game as we do pay quite a lot of money for these games as well like I was saying, at rank 15, you do get the Car 98K Nightmare 2, which is gameplay shown on screen right now. It's an insane weapon, like I did previously say, 
But at social rank 19, you do get the BAR Flyboy, which is the heroic variant of that as well. So it seems after you go ahead and get your first heroic weapons, you're going to carry on getting heroic weapons for leveling up your social score. Now, right now, supposedly the max rank for social score is only rank 20. But we're not entirely sure if we can go beyond that and actually unlock heroic weapons by doing so. So we already know at social rank 20, you are going to be getting that verified badge. And supposedly at rank 20, it's supposed to lock out and you cannot level up anymore. But maybe they've gone ahead and made it so we can actually go to level 100 in social score. Due to them adding special events in the headquarters, that's going to provide a lot of XP and social XP in the game. Now at this current moment in time, we do not know anybody who's hit social rank 20. And if they already have, they haven't posted anything on social media. So we're not entirely sure what we are getting for getting social rank 20. We just know that the verified badge is within the game right now. And we're waiting for Michael Condry to actually confirm somebody getting it. Now, like I was saying, it seems like it's going up in intervals. At rank 5, we got an epic M1928. At rank 10, we got the Lewis land ship. At rank 15, we got the Car 98K Nightmare. And of course, at rank 19, we're getting the BAR Flyboy, which is two heroic weapons towards the end of getting the max social rank. And hopefully we can see a few more epic and heroic weapons added into getting your social rank as we do proceed to get higher ranks in this game. Now something that I would like to see in this game is a contract that would allow us to unlock some epic weapons, not just the DLC weapons, but actually unlock some heroic weapons as well. In my opinion, that'd be very cool. Maybe it would be something that you have to grind maybe a few weeks for, but I definitely think that'd be worth it and it would definitely get many more players playing the game as well. Now, I don't really agree with them adding double XP on certain modes right now. For example, they pretty much forced us to play Winter Quarantine 24-7, which in my opinion is not my favourite map at all. I actually don't really like that map, but they did force us to play it just to get double XP. And now this time around, they've actually forced us to play Gun Game to go ahead... And now this time around, they've actually forced us to play Gun Game to go ahead and get the double XP. But unfortunately, Gun Game does not reward you with twice the amount of XP than a regular mode would. Now, one thing what I'm planning on doing here on the channel is actually showcasing every single heroic weapon in the game right now. And who knows, there's actually some few secret heroic weapons that have not actually been unlocked in the game as of right now. So hopefully I can go ahead and bring you guys some gameplay on that here on the channel. And I will definitely keep you guys updated over on Twitter. Now, if you guys haven't already checked out the previous video that I did post a few days ago, it was actually a method on how you can pretty much guarantee yourself a V2 rocket in this game. Yes, you heard it right. Guarantee yourself a V2 rocket. There was a method that I actually found out, and it seems like many people was actually using this method as well before I actually went ahead and posted it here on the channel. It was actually a method on Winter Carantown, which was for the double XP weekend, where you could sit in a room and actually go ahead and spawn trap to go ahead and get a V2 rocket. That was absolutely insane, and hopefully, guys, did enjoy that video hopefully you did manage to take advantage of it while you could now another thing i'd like to go over is armory credits and the fact that you can actually not get that many armory credits in this game without opening supply drops we already know that the only way of getting armory credits is simply by playing or even unlocking supply drops and actually getting duplicates out of the supply drops this is very unfortunate. Hopefully they do add a method or some type of weight on how we can actually earn armory credits instead of actually getting them from supply drops. And I do feel like that would encourage more people to play so they can unlock the DLC weapons for free literally as soon as they are released. Now I'm trying to get a few of you guys to go ahead and actually help me with a video idea I do have planned. So if you guys would like to be featured in that video that I do have planned, hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter link is down in the description below. I will be featuring some of you guys here on the channel if you guys can go ahead and help me with this as I do think it's something that's going to kind of break Call of Duty World War 2 in a sense. I really don't want to spoil the video idea but I do need a few people to help me out. So if you want to go ahead and help me out with a video, uh, hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below. I do also have a few glitches that I do want to post here on the channel. One of them being an insane score streak glitch, which actually allows you to get all your score streaks by only getting three kills in the game. Yes, you heard it right. You can literally get the ball turret gunner by only getting three kills, believe it or not. It's absolutely insane, and I will be posting it here on the channel probably in the next day or so. So make sure you guys stick around on the channel for that. 
But if you guys have watched to the end of this one, definitely leave a comment down below telling me hashtag notification squad or anything like that. Let me know down in the comment section below if you stayed to the end of this video. Uh, if you did, then I will be giving you guys a shout out in the next one. So definitely drop a comment down below telling me you stayed until the end of this video and I shout a few of you guys out in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Check out my previous videos on screen right now. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.